to Artica, where my scrapbook is bursting with mini makes. Coming up, this fantastic art attack. But first, this. I get loads of pictures sent to me every day, and just like this one, they all go in my scrapbook. And you know what? They give me some fab ideas. All fantastic art to that. And do you know what? That design drawing around circular objects has given me a fantastic idea for making fab, funky frames. <laughs> Try saying that. Now, to make a funky frame, you need a large round tray or plate and just place part of it just over the edge of a large piece of cardboard box. Cut. See that? Just over the edge and then draw around it like that so you get this smooth curve. Nice smooth curve. And then just place the tray on the left hand edge like that. And again, draw a curve so that it's touching the curve. Like that. And then place your tray up the top there, like that. And again, drawing the line there with another curved line all the way around. And I bet you can't guess what I'm going to do next. Yep, place it there and draw those lines with yet another curved line. Now, the idea is. You want to make a sort of curved rectangular frame. So to get your frame shape, get a smaller circle, this time maybe a smaller plate, and just place that in the middle, like that, and do the same again. Curve in there, and a curve in there. Join it up. It doesn't matter if these curves don't follow the outside. In fact, if they don't match, you find your frame is a lot funkier. Put that in there, like that, and again, the last one goes in there, like that, and you have this real funky shape. And the idea is to cut that out and that out so that you have a funky frame shape. Now to make it even more funky, you need to glam it up in a really garish, groovy way. So use a pencil to draw on a wacky, wavy design. You don't have to be neat or anything. Just make it as weird and wonderful as you can. Right, so I'm just gonna Lovely yeah, lines down there like that. And again, let's see what I'm doing this in a minute. It is a good <laughs> point. And one in there, and one there, like that. And once you've drawn on your design, paint it like using real crazy crazy poster or acrylic paint, but make sure you use nice bright colours. I'm just gonna paint a couple of these sections here to show you. One in there. Like that. And again another nice bright colour. In the next section, go for the red there. No, I'm going to go there. Just follow the heavy wavy lines. Like so it's painted the whole of your frame. So then just with something. Are you going to eat no party tomorrow? I am not! And you notice I've painted the back too. And this is a good tip as it helps to stop your frame from bending or warping. Now all you have to do is find a photo that you want to frame and stick it on the back. And just do that. Lot of glue on the back of there like that, and on she goes. My pin up, don't tell anyone. And there you have a fantastic, funky frame. And you can do them in any colour and pattern you like, and they look fantastic hanging up on the wall. And maybe instead of a wavy pattern, you could try a zigzag pattern. Well, how about this one? Lots of little circles. I think they look like bubbles, don't they? And this one was made using a saucer and a small mug, so it's a lot smaller. And how about this? Sort of swirls, and I've decorated it using coloured glitter. So go on, experiment with curves to get fantastic, funky frames. Here's a great artifact, a gooey ghost. To make your own drippy ghost, just draw a simple ghost shape onto a big piece of thin card, simply a cross with a sheet hanging over it. Gently pour wiggly lines of paint across your ghost and pour some around the top of its head and arms. Then tilt the card and let the paint run, but try to control it. Let this dry flat and you can add drippy eyes and cut it out to get a great gooey ghost. Well, I hope you enjoyed that flick through my mini make scrapbook. Try them yourself and I'll see you very soon. ta -ra.